When you send an email to a person or a group, Google automatically adds the contact information to your contacts app. If you use groups last year, either the parent groups or the student groups, that information is stored in your contacts. It would be best to delete out all your information from last year so that they do not show up in the list with this year's groups. Here's an example of Jamie Barsh's classes. When I start typing in her name, I see these groups, our four, nine, and one. These are groups from last year. So I'm going to go into her contacts and delete these groups so they no longer show up, which will make sending an email to this year's groups easier. To do that, you go into the Contacts app, which is found right here by clicking on this drop-down arrow. If you are only seeing a few contacts, ensure that Other Contacts is selected on the left, and then you want to sc scroll through alphabetically to the beginning of your last name. And here you can see the groups from last year because the groups start with your last name. So I'm going to go and click the checkbox in front of each group, which is last year's groups. If you are unsure which are last year's groups and this year's groups, it will not hurt to delete them all, as the next time you send an email, it will just automatically restore it here. So again, click all your groups. It can be last year's and this year's. And then click the drop-down arrow by More and click Delete Contacts. And then you can go back to your Mail app and send to your new groups.